Hello and welcome to uh, this exercise on the transformation of a circle uh, by shear. And this is uh, an, an, an unusual exercise because I've not seen this before. Anyway, uh, somebody, suggest, somebody suggest, suggested I do this. And here it goes. Uh, and it says A is a circle of radius 3 units. The image of A is a transformation of A at a B by a shear parallel to the x-axis with a shear factor of 2. The x-axis is the invariant line. Sketch the transform image B. Describe the image with the help of two properties. And here, he then says, check your answer. And I think this bit here is probably um, eligible, I think, but never mind. See how it goes? Right. And firstly, I look at four points on this circle here. This one, oops, wrong color. That one, uh, that's the, the tips of the diameters, of the perpendicular diameters, diameters, if you see what I mean there. Those two, those four points. I'm going to look, I'm going to look at those four points first. Okay, right. And then, because the, um, the shear factor is 2 and the distance from here from the invariant line to the point we are considering is 5 and the shear factor is 2 it that means that the displacement is going to be 2 times 5 which is 10 so that's going to be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 hence that spot there so that the 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 point at zero uh, the point at zero five has been transformed to ten five similarly i look at this point here that point the distance from the invariant line to that point is one two three four five six seven eight so that point after shear will be displaced by 16 units and that will be the point uh there excuse me i lost i said i'll give you a point there okay and next we look at this point here the end of the diameter this one here the distance from the invariant point to that point there yeah is one two three four five so i expect i expect a displacement of 10 units again and that's there and if you count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there okay now next i consider this point here this one here the point are three two there and because the displacement, uh, because sorry, because the shear factor is two and the displacement is two, sorry, the shear factor is two and the distance from the x-axis to, to this point here is two. Two times two will give me four. So I expect one, two, three, four. So that point is going to be there. So in effect, you can do as many points as you like and check this out. Really, um, my suggestion in an exam situation, do two or three more points, you know, just to be sure. So what I've got here is then an ellipse, and that's my image B. Okay. Now, from that, I can say that my um, major axis is CD, and C is about thirteen or so. 30 so 30.4, 30.5 units, and EF is my minor axis. Now, note, okay, now EF is 3 units, and that's half the diameter of the main circle. Okay, and furthermore, both the ellipse and the circle have got the same height, so in effect, the, the, the y coordinate there is 2. The y coordinate there is uh, 8. So 
So from there to there, the height there is six. And that's the same as the, the, the diameter of the circle there. Okay? Right. And it says, check your answer. Well, I think the only way you can do this is to do some matrix multiplication there. The transformation matrix for here is this one here. Okay? So now if I then look at this here, now these here are the four points I've considered. 0, 5, 3, 8, 6, 5, and 3, 2. Now if you do your matrix, if you do your matrix multiplication, this first point, 0, 5, becomes 10, 5 because uh, 1 times 0 is 0, 2 times 5 is 10, 10 plus 0 is 10. So that's right, that's the x axis, the, the, sorry, the x coordinate there. And because, by the way, because this is, um, because the x axis is, is invariant, uh, the y values do not change, they remain the same. Okay? What about this one here? Now, 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 8 is 16, 16 plus 3 is 19, hence 19 there. There, that was 19, there, hence 19 there. Okay, moving on from that, for this one, 1 times 6 is 6, 2 times 5 is 10, 10 plus 6 is 16, hence 16 there. Okay, uh, for the last point, uh, 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 plus 3 is 7, hence that one there. So that's checked. Okay? Right. Now, I, I do hope all that made some sense. And please, please subscribe and watch some of my other videos. Thank you for watching. And bye-bye now. Bye-bye.